anyone but Jose Mourinho. I would rather lose to any manager in the world than Jose Mourinho. And the worst thing is, they're not even good. They've not been good for a while. And they beat us from a set piece. There's nothing worse than losing to a set piece. There's absolutely nothing worse in my opinion. The worst way to lose a match is to lose via a header from a corner from a centre back from the opposition team. I just want to give a quick well done to Lacazette for that goal today. Um, it counted for nothing. I hate losing, man. I hate losing. I really, really hate losing. So um, Arteta started a pretty similar team to usual. The only difference was that Saka dropped out for Pepe. And let's be honest, okay? Saka's been really good recently. He's been amazing, but he's tired. If we're rotating an 18-year-old kid for a 72 million signing, it should the team should improve. <laughs> The team should be better with Pepe over Saka. That's just how it should be on paper. But it's not. It's really not. Because when I saw the lineup and I saw Saka wasn't starting, I was kind of gutted. Why am I gutted that a 72 million signing is starting over an 18 year old kid? This is what my club has come to. We started very sluggish, very, very slow. I think within the first couple of minutes, David Luiz literally messed up and tried to hold the ball in the edge of the box, gave them a shot on goal. Emmy started a bit sluggish as well, tried to do a short pass, which almost got cut off. And I was at that point just thinking, what is going on? Because it looked so good against Leicester, especially in the first half, it's just looking bad. But never fear, 16 minutes into the game, Lacazette was here and he scored an absolute screamer. He scored after Xhaka pounced on an Aurea mistake, I think it was, and Lacazette just took it and just slapped it Tobins. It, it almost looked fake. The whole strike looked fake. But it went in and we're 1-0 up and we're flying high. We're in a winning position. We're Arsenal. We're not going to lose from a winning position, are we? Actually, um, we've got the second most drop points in the whole Premier League from winning positions. And um, if we didn't drop those 12 points, we'd currently be sitting in third place. So yeah, um, good old Arsenal. But like I was saying, when we're in a winning position, we usually hold on to that, don't we? We don't. Three minutes later, Hyung Min Sun scored an equaliser due to a Kolesinak absolute stinker of a back pass towards David Luiz. I don't know what he was doing. I don't even know why he went back in the first place when there's so much time to look forward. Um, I don't know what he was even thinking, but he tried to do a back pass to David Luiz. And Hyung Min Sun being Hyung Min Sun, being both footed, being rapid, being so good, just slotted their way easily with his left foot and made it 1-1, literally less than three minutes later. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, the rest of the game was very, very boring. Not much happened. Um, even the subs weren't exciting. That's the thing about our bench. Like, it doesn't look exciting. But then again, we've got a front three of Lacazette, Aubameyang and Pepe. We shouldn't need a bench. So why are we not taking our chances? Why are we not finishing games? Um, Aubameyang hit the woodwork after some good play from Lacazette, which was good. Uh, Aubameyang also had another chance where he hit on a hard volley, almost was like curling it in, but he saved it. But look, once again, we're not taking our chances. We're not finishing our chances. Uh, I think we created quite a few chances. And uh, the fact that we only scored one goal today literally kills me. And then the game was finished off by a Toby Alderweireld header from a corner. Literally the worst way to lose a game, like I said at the start of the video, is conceding a header from a corner from an opposing centre-back. I don't know why I just don't like that. I just don't like it. It burns even more for some reason when a centre-back scores a header against you and it's the winner. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. First of all, I don't think Mourinho beat us. I think we beat us. Um, Mourinho didn't really do much. Tottenham didn't, really do, Tottenham didn't really do much. I think it just took the approach of sitting back and watching us beat ourselves uh, and it worked. I think that's the best tactic you can play against Arsenal because that's just Arsenal. I also think our midfield did pretty well. Um, I'm liking the Xhaka and Sebaos partnership. Uh, I'm liking Sebaos a lot. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's playing for a contract. I don't know if he's playing for an Arsenal contract because he's looked like a complete different player recently and he's he's looking kind of good. But yeah, I still think we need someone else in that midfield. Um, not saying names, name rhymes with Marty and um, starts with a P, but yeah, we need someone else in that midfield, but I'm really liking Jack and Sabios right now. Oh, and I've just seen that Jose Mourinho has never lost against Arsenal at home in the Premier League. Arsenal have dropped 21 points from winning positions in the Premier League this season. Only West Ham have lost more. Okay, so final roundup of the game. Emi Martinez, I think, did well. He made a good couple saves. Couldn't really do much more. Uh, Hector Bellerin looks a bit... Looks like he's got mistakes in him, man. I, I don't know. I'm just not confident when I see him on the ball. And I don't want to have that in a right back. So, Tierney, Tierney, Kieran Tierney looks okay. Um, I really think he'll come into life in this Arsenal team. I think he'll be a long-term left-back for us if he can stay injury-free. Uh, Mustafi's been looking good recently. Can't fault him at all. Um, Kolasinac cost us the first goal, so I can't give him any ratings today. David Luiz looked a bit shaky at the start of the game. Still, I feel like he can't be starting centre-back for us next season. Going into the midfield, I really like Granit Xhaka. He's probably our best midfielder, and... 
I feel like this is the first game in a long time where we've lost with Xhaka starting. So, Xhaka's a very important presence in that midfield. He makes things tick and he's just a simple player and he's got less mistakes in him now. It's weird. Because before when I'd look at Xhaka, I'd be like, okay, mistakes can come from there. Mistakes can come from this guy. And Xhaka's one of the people that mistakes can come from. But he's looked a little more clean, which is good. Uh, Sebios has been playing amazing recently. I don't know what's going into him. Um, and... Can't complain. He's trying to play for a contract. Uh, if he keeps playing at this at the end of the season, I'll definitely give him that contract. And then we had the front three. Um, Aubameyang had a good couple chances. Hit a crossbar, forced a good save out of Hugo Lloris. Uh, Lacazette got the goal. Amazing goal, by the way. And um, Nicolas Pepe was non-existent today. I'm not, so I'm not trying to get onto him for the season. I know it's been a very difficult season. First season in English football under three different managers. He's done pretty decent, but... It's games like this, he needs to show his worth, and he didn't do that at all today. The little glimpse that I got of Saka when he came on show, looked better than Pepe's whole game, and um, something's got to change with Nicolas Pepe, and I feel like I'll give him next season as well. I feel like he deserves that, I feel like we've seen glimpses, but he just wasn't on it today. The season's done, I think we're going to come 8th, ninth, maybe. There was a point where I thought we'll come top 5, when we're winning, we won 3 games in a row, but season's done, 8th, ninth place. Uh, might not even make it to Europe, but listen, that could be a good thing for us. I don't know. I'm kind of sick of the Europa League, but I don't know. We've got Liverpool on Wednesday. Uh, I might make a prediction video for that. Leave a like and leave a comment below for me to make a prediction video in a few days for the Liverpool game. But <sighs> losing to Jose Mourinho, I don't think there's anything worse. Losing to Spurs, not great either. I know you guys, my first post-match review video, uh, Arsenal versus Spurs, North London Derby, and just my luck, we lost the game. Let me know what you guys thought, uh, let me know if you guys agreed with some of the stuff I said. Uh, leave comments below and any of your opinions on the game. If like, I'll be replying to all of you, I'll be replying to as much comments as I can. Well, let's have some discussions in the comments, I really want to do that. I, re I, re I really want to have some discussions in the comments. So leave some comments, we'll talk down there. Subscribe, like, and I'll be back in no time for the next sports news. Okay, bye.